Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome. As you know, this is already the month of March and that means probably new palettes in our BoxyCharm boxes. So on this video, I'm just dedicating three eye makeup looks using these two palettes. So that means that from the Venus three palettes, which is the Lime Crime, I'm going to share with you guys an eye makeup look that I did. And then for the Barbarella, this is from B Beauty and I was able to create two looks. I thought it was going to be harder for me because most of the colors here or the shades are very neutral there's a lot of shimmers and there's not that many mattes but i was able to create two makeup looks which i'm going to be sharing that on this video so let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial so let's get started with the first tutorial we're going to be using the barbarella b beauty palette uh, for this tutorial i want to start with two brushes i really like a dense uh, flat brush and then we're going to be using a blending brush we're going to start with the brown shade right underneath the blue shade and then we're going to continue with the blue and then right along the niche the next shade we're going to be using is the black called ryan these are the matte shades that we're going to be using i like to use a flat brush because i'm able to put more product and then when I'm, once i'm happy with the intensity we're just going to go ahead and blend that out So I start applying the first shade right on the crease and once you pack that in with a blending brush you go ahead and blend that upwards. The next shade we're going to use is that blue and as you see we have raised that first shade pretty high up and we apply a little bit of that blue but don't worry about it we could go ahead and touch that up once we finish with um, the cut crease. Now we're going to go back to the crease area. We're going to intensify the brown, but we're going to add that black shade right in. Continue packing that in and then go ahead and blend that. And now you see we're adding a little bit more of that blue shade um, since it did blend out a little bit. Once you're happy with how intense it is, we're going to start cutting the crease. And I'm going to show you two different ways that I do it. I, I like to apply concealer right on the lid on one side and then just blend that out but then with a really fine thin brush you start creating the line on one side and then i'm going to show you how i did it on the other eye which i think it worked a lot better As you see, I did two different techniques, but they're not so different. I think what's key is using a really fine and thin brush that helps that line for the cut crease look so much better. Now that we finished with the cut crease, let's go ahead and add some shimmer. We're gonna start with this one. I usually like to just use my fingers. I feel like the intensity is so much better. And then once I finish with the inner side of my eyes on the eyelid, now I'm adding that blue that I used earlier that's going to be in the center then in the outer corner we're going to add that brown and then we're going to finish creating like a v shape right at the border the end part of our eye makeup look it truly extends the eyes makes them look so much wider and and yeah more uh open and I really like all these shades coming together. Just keep adding more color if you like and then work right on the bottom using those same colors. I started with the dark color, I started, then I continued with blue and you could just leave it as is. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. So let's go ahead and move on with the second tutorial. So now we're going to start tutorial number two. We're going to be using that same palette, Barbarella palette, and we're going to start with that flat brush. Uh, yeah, I started using the brown color, but I feel like it was too light. So now we're going to go ahead and continue applying. Now the black shade, continuing applying that on the lid. So with that flat brush, just go ahead and pack that in until you like the intensity. I know I don't like working with dark colors and black it could be a scary but this one worked pretty good and once i was happy with the lid area then with the blending brush i started going back to that brown shade that i was using at first and applying that on the crease so now you're going to apply that brown shade on the crease continue adding and blending and then you're going to blend upwards and then down as well to blend those two colors the black with the brown 
I used a light, very fine brush to apply that right on the top, which was like a very light brown or beige color. I started using the setting spray to see if the intensity of that shimmer was going to pop but no nope, once again using my fingers works works so much better i'm only applying that shade on the inner corner of my lid and then i'm just going to use another shimmer which is the shimmer that i'm using right in the center we're going to apply that in the center that's going to be covering the black um shade that we used previously then we blend that in i apply more of that same shimmer in the inner corner then i went back and applied the other shimmer in the center until i was happy that both of the colors were coming through see so continue applying it until you're happy i started using the brush just to create that line right on the top and then with the fine brush since this is a black shade i created the corner look like a V shape and just blended that in and we completed tutorial number two. So now guys moving to uh, moving up to the last tutorial this is the Lime Crime palette and we're going to start with the first matte and we're going to work our way on the inner corner first we're just stamping that in just packing that in with of course you guess it with that flat brush once again and we're kind of like creating like a v almost shape and as you will see i'm not just working my lid area i am including the lid but also the crease area so i'm just filling that in we're gonna go with the second shade so as you see that i did the inner corner i'm just applying right by the crease the second shade i thought it was going to be a big difference but you don't see too much of a difference between these two shades but we're just going to keep it that way we're just going to go, go ahead and go back to the first shade add more color stamp that more color in with that b shape focusing just on the inner corner and last we're going to fill in the last part of our eye creating a v shape on the outer v and you will see that we are just filling that in, just stamping, adding product. And we're filling in the lids as well as our crease area. And as you see, it's pretty high. Now we're just going to start blending. We're going to start from the inner corner, blending that back and forth, but also going upwards. So it could fill in not just our crease, but higher, uh, the higher part of our crease as well. And then they're blending together. So you see kind of like that effect from dark on our lids. And then it's just getting like a gradient look. From the crease to the topper part or the upper part of our lid and just continue blending that if you see that you're missing any shades any color you want to add more you could just go ahead and, and add it with the blending brush so now we're going to start with the first shimmer shade and we're going to apply that in the inner corner so every place that we added those matte colors we're going to be applying a shimmer so now for the inner corner we're going to be applying that shade and you can already see a difference you guys could leave it as is just matte shades and you completed probably this look but i wanted to add some shimmers right on top of those matte shades to give it more intensity to the shimmer and i just could continue applying more and more but remember just in the inner corner and i feel like you see my fingers worked pretty good now in the center in the center we're going to be applying that such a pretty purple shade one thing i did notice with this one once i would blend it it kind of like faded a little bit away and i have to keep going back and adding the first shimmer and then the second shimmer which was in the center and i tried blending it it was fading and in this one the best way was using a brush and applying some type of setting spray those are the only two shimmers that i use you could now go ahead and apply those two colors that we used right underneath and uh, just apply a little bit more just to bring those colors that we we started that were matte shades on the top and then we just add them on the bottom i truly love how this look came out it was super easy to do it, i just wish that that purple was showing a little bit more but you guys could build it i hope you guys enjoy all of these tutorials using these two palettes that are expected or most of us are going to be receiving it or received it in our march boxes from boxycharm so thank you guys for spending some of your time with me and until the next video bye